hey guys welcome back to another episode so today we'll integrate view and view router in our projects so let's get started okay so in our src stru uh, folder structure we have two folders admin and frontend so we are gonna focus on admin folder now in the admin folder we have admin.js in where we just uh, console a message to check that out uh, that whether the file is working or not so we we will be begin we will begin everything from here this admin.js will our main uh, entry point for admin area but before that we actually need to run npm run watch to watch our scripts and all the stuffs will be rendered and stored into uh, by the laravel mix for uh, browser use so let's do that first okay so our uh, script is loaded now we can close that down and remove this console and now let's begin with importing our view package so we can say import view from view and then what we can do uh, we can get a new instance of view and here we need to pass some objects the first one is the element attribute in where we going we are going to pass our dom id in where everything will be rendered so the id if we go to our includes and admin.php at the very bottom this menu page template method we have this id wp vk admin app so we are gonna use that one okay and then we're gonna render that like this let's say h equal to h and here we need to pass a value in where the everything every view will be uh, passed through that component so in that case we can name it app now this app is still not available in our script so we can do that but before that we need to create that so let's import it first although we haven't created that file so let's import app from and assume that we are gonna create that app dot view file into the same directory so uh, this app is actually this one so we are gonna render this app dot view so let's create that file app dot view here and now we need to add some codes into app dot view okay now we need to create a view template here so we can say view and choose this one i think i'm using viewter by which we can use this kind of a feature shortcut feature so in the in uh, in the template we're gonna uh, create a div here so let's give an id let's say view uh, backend app like this and inside that let's just for now put an h1 and say wp view kickoff okay so this is just the html and into the export default let's name that and it should be app because we are referencing as app in here and using this into our render method and we're not gonna use style here so we can remove that out so in that way so we have created our app dot view here just we have uh, printed only an H h1 tag with the title wp view kickoff and then into the admin js we uh, imported this app component and we passed it passed that into the render so with this code i think we are good to see something in our backend so let's go into backend so this is our plugin menu and this is the kickoff so if we click on that but th th this will not work in that way we need to create a refresh so we should see a title here let's check that out yes so we are seeing that wp view kickoff so if we inspect that see view backend app that means this component these uh, these doms are actually coming from this app dot view component which will be our main component from where everything will be triggered and admin.js will be our main js file from 
from where every js thing and every component will be loaded and triggered from here so hence our view component is loading so now let's uh, move into the next thing let's import a uh, view router so you can say view router from uh, view router okay and here we need to use that so we can say view dot use view router like this and then we we need to take a constant here in which uh, every uh, view routers object will be stored so you can say routes it is an array so inside let's keep it blank for now because we don't have anything and then what we need to do we need to take another const and let's say it router and initiate our view router like this and in where we will be passing our routers okay like this now we need to pass this router into our main view instance otherwise it will not recognized so let's do that like this so in that way we are good to go with the router things now hence we are trying to uh, create couple of things here first we are trying to create a tab like settings page from where we are we will be able to save data with the view so we need to create a tab like component okay but uh, also we uh, we have to handle some other things like uh, in the kickoff page so in, in that page we are wanting to have a tab but we might have different pages like settings and the other so we have to handle multi routers okay so in that case let's create a folder here first let's name it tabs like this and for the pages let's create another folder and we can call it pages but uh, i think we need to uh, store those into components okay let's components like this so we can grab these folders into the components like this all right now into the tab let's create a component called uh, general tab dot view like this all right so here also let's uh, take a, a template for view and uh, let's take a div with id and uh, let's give it an id like wp vk general uh, tab set settings tab you can say settings tab and also given class and the class name is tab container because we already have some css included with a tab container as i have shown before so if we go to the assets and says into i think this tab yeah so i have a class tab container which width will be 96 percent mean height padding background and margin top so this is already pre-written so that is why we're just using that tab class to have some nice styling now inside that let's put an h2 and say settings form just like this and into the export default we need to obviously name it so we are just giving the name you can say general tab like this so we do not need to do anything from here right now now let's move on into our admin.js all right now let's import our general tab um, let's say general tab from uh, it should be 
comp in, into the components obviously and then we need to go tabs and then we need to find out that general tab right general tab dot view like this all right now we need to fill up this uh, router array so it's a collection of objects at first we need to specify the path so it should be our root path like so when we go to this kickoff and when click on this kick kickoff menu our general tab within all the tab our general tab should be open so that is why we are keeping this root path now obviously we need to pass the components now because we will be adding multiple routing so that is why we need to say like components and inside the components for if we use multiple routing we can specify things okay so uh, the default uh, if if we use default router then the name will be always default okay and into the default we need to pass this general tab component that we have now obviously we are not implementing router view into our app dot view so let's go there and let's put that right away so we can say router view like this correct and this will be our default that that means uh, if we do not mention we can mention name here like this okay so if we do not mention any name its name is by uh, by default its name is default so that is why in the router object we have uh, defined that into the default component into the default router view we want to load this general tab all right so we will see why why we need that um, uh, multiple router and how we can implement it but hence we need that so that is why we are setting it from the beginning right away now if we go into our backend and we should see these two things into the app from the app view we uh, we will see this h1 tag and because we also load this general tab into this uh, router view so we should also see this uh, settings form so let's go back and reload the page yes as a, as you can see there's this style is also coming there's a white background and settings from this text is actually coming from our general tab not from the app yeah in, in technically we can say it is coming from the app because we are using a router view so but the message is coming from the tab dot view now let's create another tab and name it another tab okay this is funny but let's name it another tab and into the another tab let's uh, put everything like we have done uh, into this uh, general tab because we will have multiple tabs in a tab multiple tab menu in a tab so let's say here from another tab and let's name it another tab like this okay now okay so uh, we can say another settings tab and then we also need to go to admin js and let's import that real quick another tab we can say another tab like this now for the another tab we obviously want to have different path so that means we want to go le let's say another okay so then we need to say components like this and this should be also in our default router view okay so let's say another tab like this now so in, uh, now if we go into our backend and go to this another tab so from there we will see this message this message right so let's check that out okay let's hit a refresh first now from here uh, if we write another 
and hit re, uh, hit enter as you can see this from another tab thing is coming so our based on our url our component is loading as we expected but the issue is in in real type scenario for the tab we actually need a menu here kind of a menu here and if we click on that that should be changed right but we um, we actually want the uh, menu like this menu are like this we do not want for the tab let's say we do not want something like this tab slash another so what i am trying to say is our url structure will be always like this whether we are in the tab or whether in the settings page let's say if we talking about this settings page so we want something like that that our url part will be like this always but in terms of uh, using tab we need to manage in our own way so in that case we actually need to create uh, uh, some kind of a navigation right so let's create a menu here into the tab so we can say navigation not like this dot tab okay not the navigation dot tab actually it should be navigation dot view okay now in the navigation let's create a template again here real quick and we'll pass a navigation class with the ul let's put a class and name it tab menu all right tab menu and inside that we will have ul uh, li and inside that we are going to use router link like this and inside that we are going to pass our paths where we can say this general and for another tab we can say another like this and inside there we need to specify our component name let's call it tab navigation like this like this and we are not using a style from here let's remove that now next let's go to the admin.js and also obviously we need to uh, in, in include that navigation tab so we can say tab navigation tab navigation and also like this now here's the fun part because we need a uh, multiple menu so now for this we cannot use this navigation menu right into this these routers because it requires a different path so the thing is this navigation tab should be visible into this url and into this url as well with uh, including this general tab and including with this another tab so that is why we need to use multiple routers so how we can do that for that at first we need to go to app.view and here we need to pass another router view component where we will spe specify a name and let's call it tab that means this router view which is default one and if we want any component with the same viewport with a different router view for that we need to use this tab router view so now what we can do into this uh, same object we can specify tab and we can pass another component that meaning into the same path into the different two different router view we are loading two different components and same thing goes here as well All right so now if we go back and not in the settings let's click on kick off and hit a refresh we should see a menu at uh, at the top maybe there is some issues let's check that out 
yes we have one console error it is saying components tab tab navigation dot view this module cannot be found okay so let's check that out so components tabs tab navigation oh okay uh, we have named it navigation not the tab navigation all right so it is navigation okay so now let's hit refresh let's close that down yes as you can see we have two different tabs now now this has been styled i i, I told you before into the tab we have tab menu and LIA so we have styled this so these codes are already available in the github you can just take that out because I do not want to waste any time with the SAS or CSS things as I told you earlier we have to focus on our view things right all right so what I was talking that we have general and we have another tab so it uh, in general we we have the path like only the slash so when we, when we on in only the slash that means we need to load this general in it is it is uh, it is true for kickoff so kickoff is also having the same uh, path which is only the slash so that meaning when we will kick uh, click on kickoff like this so this url when load this world we also need to show something and in this case we are showing the general so this settings form message is coming from the general but now if we click on another tab see so when we are clicking on another tab our url changes to slash another and this component is coming from the default view and this component this total component is following through the another router view which name is tab this one so this one is responsible for loading our secondary components like uh, navigation and these are our main tab contents like this section you got my point i think you are okay so now let's move on into another things which is the settings so if we click on settings okay so uh, we do not have any component this is happening because we are implemented the router thing and if you go to our admin.php and if you see that this is actually added from the php so that is why it is reacting like that but in in general we do not have that settings uh, component yet so let's create that real quick so from here we can say settings.view i guess settings.view like this and let's take that view template again and let's say h1 tag all right and say settings page and let's close that h1 tag also let's have some name here we can say settings like this and then we also need to uh, import this obviously so let's import that like so and we also need a different path for that we can say like settings and also components like this obviously we will pass it into the default like this all right so now if we go back again and let's uh, uh sorry not this one but this one we have into a different thing okay so if we click on settings then settings value is coming from that component as well okay so i hope you understand actually what is going on here so for just uh, a quick recap what we have done so from the admin js uh, we import our view and view routers and created our app dot view which is this one so into the app dot view we have a, we have this 
main DOM where we actually importing two views one is our default view for by which we are importing our tab components and this router view is kind of a secondary router view by which only for the tabs we want our navigation that is why we need to pass another router view like this so we named it tab right now uh, we created multiple uh, components for the tabs like general tab and another tab so these are basically the tabs that we are seeing here into the kickoff this is general this is another so these sections these white sections underneath these menus are the tab contents and this this tab this menu is this is basically another component which is we are calling navigation dot view in where we created our menu but we actually need to pass through this pass this menu through with our these components like general components and also another component so whenever we load this component we need to load this component as well that is why we are creating multiple views right now into the general tab we obviously just uh, uh, printing a h2 and into the another tab we are also doing the same thing and for the uh, for the uh, settings we also created another different component which will be acting as a page and finally we added everything here for the path slash we have used for default we use general and for tab we use tab navigation and these are the tab part and this is uh, only a single page where we do not need that navigation because if we go into our settings we are not seeing any tab so obviously we actually can do that we if we want to also have navigation menu but this is no point to have navigation menu here because this settings page might have different kind of a uh, different kind of contents right and finally we uh, define our router view class into these routers and pass these routers like this ones and at the final stage we pass this router into our main view instance so i hope you enjoyed this video and there is a lot of going on and i expect you to have some intermediate knowledge of view because this is a kind of this uh, tutorial that we you need to have good amount of knowledge in terms of view okay so into the next video what we will be what we will do we'll create a form here and by through this we will start implementing our Vuex as well and then we are going to interact with with our wordpress api rest api and submitting our values and finally we will show those values as well so till then keep watching this video and keep watching this series see you in the next video bye